Welcome to Mauritius. It is a small island country in the middle of the Indian Ocean. The island has 1.2 million citizens, including 65,000 textile workers. 1.2 million citizens, including 65,000 textile workers, one third of which are migrant workers. In many factories, there are what one employee called prison-like dorms with 16 people per room. These workers are paid about $190 a month. And housing and food is included in this total. This comes out to less than $6 a day. As you can see here, there is barely enough to support one person, let alone a large family like many of these young men and women are. A meal for one person is worth their daily earnings. Most workers have to take taxis, spending some of what, they, what little they have just to get their job. Workers often have to work with large machinery and are not provided safety gear. Protests against harsh working conditions are, and low pay are com commonplace, but are quickly swept under the rug. Only 8% of workers report to be unionized. Sadly, prostitution is one of the only other ways uneducated young women can make money in Mauritius. The textile industry is pretty much their only thing to turn to. Mauritius is one of the healthier countries in Africa with below average number of diseases. Many illnesses have been eradicated like yellow fever. They are still working. I'm going to talk about the workers in Mauritius factories. The majority of textile workers are migrants. Workers cannot complain about conditions or they will be deported. The average worker in Mauritius works an 87 hour work week including overtime. Now I'm going to talk about the work day of a textile worker in Mauritius. A work day is from 8.30 in the morning to 11 at night. Workers have two breaks, each a half hour long. Workers are given a 15 minute lunch but are confined to factory premises. Purchasing from brands that pay workers a living wage saves textile workers from harsh conditions. Brand policies of Calvin Klein. I will be doing this on cotton. Pollution. The pollution for the clothing is horrible. There is 20,000 liters of pollution from cotton buildup in the factories. They claim to use energy efficiency and keep up with standards. They try to present themselves by an environmentally conscious brand. The amount of cotton is crazy. Here is all about cotton. A PVH company, which is the company that owns Calvin Klein, claims to be the following all the standard rules. Maintain a safe and respectable working environment. Calvin Klein respects all races and colors and creeds in the code of conduct. They must be willing to sign a confidentiality agreement. Life in a factory. Warning for abuse left a factories closed and employees out of work to for all the charges against abuse. They were mentally abused and chemically mixed by workers. Taken steps forward to stability but needs to improve. Carbon emission materials and product production, as well as water use. Bangladeshi employees protest about closing factories because of abuse. It's just better to avoid Calvin Klein for the better of people and the earth. Raw materials. What are Calvin Klein's jeans made of? And what materials goes into them? Well, the most materials in Calvin Klein's jeans is cotton. One kilogram of cotton equals 20,000 liters of water. That is a lot of water for one kilogram of cotton. So imagine all of this fields of cotton and one kilogram equals 20,000 liters. Imagine how much water goes into this. Spandex is the next one that they're in their chemicals. So where does spandex come from? Well, spandex is chemically made, and that is really bad for our earth. As well as people put chemicals and preservatives on cotton for it to grow, and it kills a lot of our land and pollutes our waters. As well as spandex, spandex pollutes our waters very much because it's all chemically made and goes straight into our water. This what happens when you put chemicals into spandex to make spandex and the cotton 
It pollutes our waters terribly. And it's just the oils and pollution that goes into our waters is just terrible. And from factories producing the clothing, the cotton, and making the chemicals for the spandex pollutes our air and kills our planet. And there's only 3% of fresh water on our entire earth. And a lot of that goes to cotton and production for animals and everything else. And a lot of it's getting destroyed. Workers. The workers that make Calvin Klein's clothes, and in general, don't get treated very well. And it's very bad for them. And that's not all. The workers work for time and hours with no breaks and don't get treated well again. So this luscious land, beautifully, beautiful, and just great land will be destroyed in our eyes over time. We can make a difference. If you recycle your clothes, give your clothes to other people who need them, we can protect our planet and keep it healthy. Fight for our world.